What's going on guys? Chris Bumstead here filming with Megafit today to announce the launch of the Bum Box. We're gonna be doing some rapid fire questions. I have no idea what the questions are or any answers obviously. So we're gonna just be winging it and see how it goes. What time did you wake up this morning? I woke up at 7.45 this morning, earlier than normal. <laughs> uh, normally I get up at like 8, 8.30. What's one of your favorite things in the gym? One of my favorite things in the gym? <laughs> my favorite thing about the gym is probably just the gym. <laughs> Not, nothing specific in the gym I love, I just love the gym. Yeah. We love gym. <laughs> what is one workout word you wish everyone would stop using? Juicy. <laughs> Juicy can just be canceled. Even though I use it myself sometimes, it's a horrible word. What have you had the longest? What have I had the longest? Uh, no idea. <laughs> I'm thinking my body, but I'm too literal with questions. I'm very literal, so my body I've had the longest since I was born, believe it or not. What is your favorite season? My favorite season is definitely fall. Coming from Canada, being able to wear a sweater and shorts and not sweat and just like not be too hot but not be too cold, perfect time of year. What is the first thing you notice about someone when you meet them outside of competition? Um, personally, I'm like a shy, awkward person sometimes, so I always see if someone's very confident and outgoing and like thinking before or hesitating before they speak, or if they're just like one or the other, if they're shy, quiet, or awkward or not, because I'm personally a little more introverted and overthinking, but I can usually read that in other people and I notice very quick. Who mostly inspired you as a kid? Uh, my dad inspired me the most as a man in my life, of the man I wanted to be, but in bodybuilding, my brother-in-law inspired me completely to get into it, coach me into it. and coach me to win three Olympias. What country have you always wanted to visit? I've always wanted to go to Greece. I don't know why, it just seems cool. I feel like they have good food, nice beaches, relaxed city, it just would be fun. What book have you recently read or are you currently reading? Uh, I recently read Jordan Peterson, 12 Rules for Life. Very interesting book, very in-depth. Took me a long time to read it, but it was good. What's the last song you downloaded? The last song I downloaded was Gimme give Gimme give Remix. <laughs> because I heard it in a club in Miami and it just got stuck in my head. <laughs> if Python could talk, what would she say about you? Uh, probably that I'm her slave. and She's really my owner. <laughs> <laughs> what would we find in your refrigerator right now? A bunch of condiments and a bunch of Megafit meals. <laughs> <laughs> what drink do you usually have with breakfast? Water. I'm plain, I drink water. <laughs> Only water always. What's your favorite weird food combo? Ketchup and everything. I don't know if it's weird, but I put ketchup on chicken, rice, fish, everything. Ketchup, put ketchup on it all. Uh, what's your favorite cheat meal? Favorite cheat meal is probably Thanksgiving dinner. Turkey, mashed potato, stuffing, all that stuff. What trait most defines who you are? Reserved. <laughs> <laughs> what are two habits that can hold you back? Two habits that can hold you back? Mm -hmm. uh, inconsistency and procrastination. What's one thing you do that annoys Courtney? Uh, I wear like four outfits a day. I wear like a shirt in the morning, get in the cold tub, to do cardio, to work out, to go to work, and then she has so much laundry to do. It's definitely that. Why is there an S in the word list? Just to taunt us. <laughs> Just to tease people. All right, so I gotta go finish that meal. I heat it up, getting ready for a workout, on my pre-workout meal. I'm gonna put that down, head to the gym, hit a back workout, which I'm gonna be taking you guys through. So I'll see you guys at the gym.